This video assumes that you know how to find the probability of an area shaded to the left of a given z-score. But if you look at this 120 right here, this is not a z-score. It's an x. So what you're really asking in this problem right here is they're asking us to find the probability that x is less than 120. Now why do I say less than? I say less than because it's shaded to the left. Right, this area over here is shaded to the left of, uh, of our 120. So that's why it's less than. So I drew this symbol in right here. Okay, so what we need to do, because I cannot look up 120 on a uh, normal distribution table, what we need to do is we need to change this x value into a z value, into a z score. And we have a, a formula to do that, which means I need to change this 120 into a z-score. So our, our formula to do that, I hope you see, is actually this one. And you're going to see this so many times that eventually you're going to have this formula probably memorized. It's x minus the population mean divided by the population standard deviation sigma. And they gave us that. They gave us... Um, they gave us the mean, they told us the mean was 100, and they told us the standard deviation is 15. So we have these two values that we can plug in here. Right? And the x that we're using, the x that we're going to change is this 120 here. So let's plug all this in here. I've got 120, that's my x value, minus the mean, they told us the mean was 100. Put that right there divided by our standard deviation of 15. And because of order of operations, we have to work this out um, you know, in the proper order. We're going to work out the 120 minus 100 on top first. Well, that's easy enough. Let me slide this down so you can see. That's easy enough. Our numerator is just going to be a 20, and our denominator is a 15. And if we take 20 and divide by 15, you will get an answer of 1.33333, and it goes on and on and on. Now, Z numbers are usually rounded off to two decimal places here. So I'm just going to write it as 1.33. Right? This is now the new Z number that our X is going to be represented with. In other words, switch to a different color here. Uh, in other words, this X value here of 120 is now going to be represented as a z number of 1.33. There we go. So we're going to go look this up in our table, or I have created an Excel spreadsheet that can do this for us. So here, I'm going to bring up Microsoft Excel, and what I get to do in Excel here is I just get to plug in my z number that I'm interested in, which in this case is 1.33, and since I'm shading to the left, I'll just hit Enter, you'll see that it gives me the correct probability. Now, if you're using a table and you look up 1.33, you, you should see that it gives you a probability, an area under the curve to the left, of 0 0.9082. Right, so this is 0 0.9082. 9082. And that is our final answer. So I've got Excel, uh, sorry, I've got my math lab opened up over here. I'm just going to type this in, 0 0.9082. Click on our check answer button, and sure enough, we got it right. 